Yo, what's up, comic book Yu-Gi-Oh! Life Entertainer Magarine over here, giving you guys my comic book review. Flash forward number five, Freedom Fighters number 12. Both of them were awesome. Both of them were fantastically awesome, and you guys missed out. Man. I am going to love reading issue six of Flash Forward. It's going to be great, great, great. Next up, Nightwing number 68. Uh, I hate it. You know why? Because there's four Nightwings in Bloodhaven. And I hate all of them. I want the real Nightwing back. Soon, hopefully. Next up, Ruby, number four. Boy, do I love this cover art. Ah. Not only that, but I love the interior art. It is just flawless and flamboyant. Not in a weird kind of way, but like in a, you know... Oh, I want to read this kind of way. That's the kind of flamboyant mm -hmm. I'm talking about. The, oh, I, I really want to read this kind of one, you know, kind of way. Justice League Odyssey, number 17. It was okay. It was lagging on some stuff, but it was okay. It was an overall okay book to read. Teen Titans, number 38. Seize Your Destiny. No comment. I don't really like that issue. I love Crush, and I love Roundhouse and Jin. But I really don't have anything nice to say about this, this particular issue. Just that particular issue. I don't really have anything nice to say about it. Flash, number 86. Oh my god, was it great. Oh, I loved it. And I'm not joking. I really loved it. The Low Low Woods, number two. Black Label DC. It was okay. The first one was uh, a little bit controversial because the first issue ended up with one of the main characters, obviously a girl, sleeping with another character, obviously a girl. Yeah, you see where I'm going with this. This, this issue, this issue did not... And very controversially, which was fantastic. And I'm happy that they bounced back from it. So, I'm happy that they bounced back from having it at a controversial ending. Which was two girls mm -hmm. sleeping together. It's kind of awkward for me to say that. So, moving on. Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. The one thing I don't like about this comic book is that there are mini comic books in it. Like, miniature comic books. It's a comic book within a comic book within a comic book within a comic book. It's four different stories all in one. I don't care about those types of comic books. I want to read something that has one story in it. 
Not four mini ones. No, thank you. Batman's Grave. Number four. We are one-third into this comic book series, and I am loving it. I'm loving it. Aquaman, number 56. Ah. Uh, it was a great read. It really was. It was a fantastic read, and I'm happy about it. Action Comic Books, number 1018. Yes, you heard me. 1018. Yeah, you heard me. It was all over the place. That's all I'm going to say about it. He-Man and the Masters of the Multiverse. Number three out of six. Oh, dude, I am loving it. It's a fantastic read, and I love anything that has to, that has to deal with the word multiverse in it. From DC, obviously, not from Marvel. Because Marvel's multiverse is uh, a little all over the place. So, uh, but, 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 but. Detective comic books starring Batman and the Boy Wonder number 359. And this is where they meet, you know, where they introduce the Batgirl concept. Um. I got no, no other words to say. Obviously, this comic book was from the 60s. And they still have, you know, viewpoints and... Stuff, you know, uh, I'm trying to think. They have, obviously have viewpoints for, for women, obviously, in this issue. And it was made from the 60s point of view. If this offends people, today's people, I'm sorry that you're triggered. But this was made from the 60s. And the reason that they bring out... That they brought this issue out... Is just a reminder... Of what not to do or what not to say... Towards women. In my point of view, in my opinion... It's basically DC is trying to say to us, look at what mistakes we have made in the past. If you guys look at it and see what mistakes that they made in the past, it's not going to repeat itself. I think that's what DC is trying to say to us. I don't know. Last but not least... Uh, the Legion of Superheroes, number three. By yeah. Brian Michael Bendis. Oh. I love the artwork, but I hate Timberwolf's hairstyle. I hate it with a vengeance. That hairstyle does not look well on him. Uh. 
I'm trying to... This hairstyle does not look well on Timberwolf. It just does not look very well drawn and well thought out. Obviously, in my own opinion. No, that's not Timberwolf. That's... What's his name? Sorry, Ultra Boy, never mind. But yeah, obviously, the same thing goes with Timberwolf. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really like that. I meant to say Ultra Boy. That's Ultra Boy. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> obviously, I've never read any super in any Legion of Superhero comic books before this one, so that was my mistake. I don't like the hairstyles on Timberwolf and Ultra Boy. I hate it. It does not look well on him. With that being said. I will end this video, so please like and subscribe, and I will catch you all later on in the next video. Peace.